Hey, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna show you how to use OBS to maximize your church live stream. All that and more coming up. Now, when you first download OBS, you should have it look exactly like this when you first download it. I reset everything so it looks like this. Um, now the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead, it pre uh, made a scene for us. Now I do recommend watching another uh, tutorial on how to adjust the streaming setting, the streaming settings and recording settings because this will determine how you um, stream and whether you will lose frames or not and that will, that is explained in better detail um, in another video or well in another video of, not of mine but anyways the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the audio tab first we're going to go ahead and select under mic and auxiliary our audio device so for me I have this coming through my microphone but you want to double check what this is if you have like a mixer or an audio interface or something like this, this is a, my mixer that I have set up. Um, we can actually just select that. Um, and that's going to be the audio input that you're going to hear. Now, I don't recommend setting up the desktop uh, audio because this can create feedback or um, unwanted noise like a a Windows notification or something like that. So I would want to leave that off um, And I suggest you to do that and then you can just just can hit apply Also for video. I do recommend um, setting this to 1920 by 1080 um, For your base canvas for your output You might need to scale this down to 720p depending on your internet upload speed and I would stick around 30 FPS um, For that now here's where you can set hotkeys and stuff this is up to you whether you want to set up hotkeys for easier volunteer use, but I'm not going to set those up today and everything else um, in here. It's pretty good to say set. If uh, your OBS doesn't look like this, I am on the theme Archie. Um, this is the default theme, so that might be why it looks a little bit different, but I'm just going to move it back to Arch, Arch, try. Um, what however you say that anyways you just want to hit apply to save your settings and then hit ok now you see down here that this is my audio mixer or audio mixer so you can see the levels going up back and forth this is the volume so you can turn it up and down this is the muting um, and then also if you go under properties here you can change it as well now let's go ahead and set up your first um, scene per se so for this example i'm going to go ahead and use two cameras which um i don't have two cameras so i'm just going to be using images but you'll get the whole idea later so i'm first going to rename this first scene and I'm, we're going to name this oh caps lock was on camera one um and then we're going to name or without um without lyric or without graphics so this is just going to be a clean feed from your camera and how we're going to add this is we're going to click the add button go to video capture device you'll want to name this camera camera one then you'll want to go ahead and select your camera from here whether you're using a uh, an Elgato device or Magwell, Blackmagic has a few good ones, but you'll want to select that from in there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually add just an image, which I'm going to drag in from over here, and it will just be uh, camera one. So, so congratulations, you have your camera showing in the software. That's a first major step for a lot of people, and if you're following along to this point, Good job for you. I mean, it's it's so simple, but uh, accomplish the small things. Now, if you hit this lock, 
button right here. This means that you can't drag this anywhere like this. And if you drag it off, if you hit control and then the button F, it will resize it to the middle and you can lock that so you can't move it around at all. Also the I button disables it and enables it. So if it has a line through it and it's gray, that means you can't see it. If you enable it, then you can see it. So now that we have the camera one feet down, we're going to repeat this for camera two or however many cameras and you can just hit the duplicate scene button. I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I'm going to delete this camera and then you can go, you can delete your camera then go back in, hit add video capture device, but I'm just going to drag in this image again. Like I said, I'm going to click the lock button. So now we have camera one with and without graphics and you see that it's fading in between. We'll explain a little bit about uh, scene transitions later, but if you want it to cut, you can just change that and then I'll cut. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add it, um, add some overlays to this. So say you're using um, another program. I'm, for example, I'm just using Media Shout 7 here, um, but you can use ProPresent or stuff like that. If you have a dedicated um, lyrics, computer um you're a you're able to do something like this so you don't want and want to use the key function out of this so Sorry, i'm not sure apparently my alexa triggered but anyways um you want to go ahead and do this and then um how you can see over here for the main display uh, can I pop this out? I think you were able to, but, uh, anyways, so anyways, um, here's how this would look. Um, I have this here and this is what we did for a worship night. So you have this green here and what you're going to use is you're going to use a keying effect, which basically takes away all the green and shows what's beneath it, which will be your camera. So if I just go ahead and send this out to one of my displays here, um, you will need a way of capturing this. There is a software uh, or a video protocol called NDI, and you can install that on your Lyrics computer to capture the desktop and send it over the network. And you can import it with a plugin, or actually it's uh, automatically included, I believe, or it might be a plugin. Anyways, you have to research that a little bit. You could use NDI, which is the new tech um, NDI. It's a video protocol over the network and you can get it that way. Or um, using like a video out and a video in, just like you're getting your cameras into your computer. Um, that's the way that my church does it. So you would just hit add video capture device, but I'm actually gonna add a display capture and this is only if it's on the same computer. So um, that's, how it works. So I'm just going to call this, or actually, before we do that, I need to duplicate this camera two with lyric and then click add. Then you'll want to go camera or NDI or however you have, or however you have doing this. Then lyric overlay. You want to do that. Now you see I have my screen here. You're just going to want to um, select. Oh, that's my capture. There we go. So we see our um, thing. You'll want to go ahead and select your uh, video capture device there. So now you have this green thing over your uh, whole screen. You can't see the camera at all. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into filters here and then this box will pop up. You want to hit this plus button down here and click chroma key. And you can just enter that. This will automatically take some of the green out if you have it as green. But if not, you can click uh, custom and you're able to set it to any color that it is. But mine is green. You see, if we set it to blue, it doesn't do it right. Or magenta, doesn't do it right. You have to set it to green. And the default settings are pretty good. Um, and that's how it will look. You can see that it's um, 
overlaying just as it should and all the green is removed and then this camera will um, be seen. So that's how you add a lyric overlay onto it. Now, say that your church doesn't use um, a dedicated computer to do uh, graphics or something like that. Um, we're just going to put in this worship night. So now you see that this doesn't look that great. Um, what we're going to do here, um, you're going to want to add in the input. So however you uh, put in here, whether it's through NDI, video capture, and then it's going to go full screen. But if you drag it from a corner, you can drag it down. And what I recommend is putting it in a corner like this. You can put it in a different corner if you want. Um, do something like that. And this is how my church does it because we don't have a dedicated uh, graphics computer. But as you see, it adds this nice um, way to see what people are looking at on the screens. If you want to add your lyrics, um, I really recommend it. And say you want your uh, other camera to have this. What we would do is duplicate and with lyrics we can actually rename these or re center them then if we go over to this instead of going through the process of dragging it all down and everything or dragging it or doing the filters stuff like that we could just take copy from here go over to camera one hit paste and now you're able to redrag this believe actually if you just hit control C no oh there we go if you hit control C on this and hit and I'll go over to here hit control V then it will do it how it should so anyways um now you have camera one camera two and they're both in the corner. Then you have camera one, camera two without the lyric. And just stuff like that adds to the live stream. And if you even wanted to, you could have like a name tag overlay. Um, which how you do that is you could create another scene so it's not with this. Um, this is just a... An example, you could do an image through like Photoshop. Um, Pastor Bob, uh, what's the last name? Smith. Sure, Pastor Bob Smith. Um, and of course, you could adjust this. Um, I wouldn't actually recommend doing it like this, but then you could have like a title and you could turn this on and off and do something like that um, and add that to your stream. Little things like that will add a lot to your stream, and I really recommend it. Um, I do recommend vMix because it has a lot of, uh, you don't have to create as many like scenes and stuff. You can just add stuff onto it. Um, but OBS is a free software, and it's a very good software um, for free, and I know a lot of churches are using it. But... I just see so many churches using the one camera angle and not having like a lyric overlay or a screen overlay and you can do so much with OBS um, that we should be using it why not um, even though we use vMix at my church I'm looking to incorporate using OBS to do a live stream feed with a custom live stream graphics um, so that would be using both softwares at the same time. Um, so find some ways that you can use OBS. There's a bunch of plugins that you're able to use to have live countdowns, um, to a lot of different things. And it supports a wide range of things. So they have image, image slideshows. Just get creative and figure out something that works for you. Anyways, guys, um, 
that is going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you got some amount of education out of it, um, please give it a like and hit the subscribe button. I do a lot of content about uh, churches and being creative in the church space with technical stuff and uh, some other videos that you might want to watch. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Ben Edwin and stay creative.